Hi everyone, this is Dollar. Today we're going to be adding the mini sterilizer to the BioCube. Okay, my work counter is a little messy, so I'm going to be doing this on a makeshift table. And what we have in here is the sterilizer, the plug, and the power adapter, as well as a couple connectors. Uh, this one here is the one for the BioCube. This is for if you're using a different type of nanotank and it's more universal. The pump in the BioCube is in this third chamber and it's actually connected right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the pump and pull that out. I turned off the light so it doesn't blind the camera. But our pump right here just there's the uh, outflow right here so just pull the tubing off of there and the pump actually has some suction on its feet so we'll go ahead and break that loose and pull that out we have the cord here so I'm going to go ahead and unplug that as well so what we're going to do is install this right into the tube here. I'm keeping the cord at the top, even though it doesn't matter which way it goes. Because what this basically does is it has a light in there that it's a UV light that kills any bacteria or algae or possibly like ick stuff that might be flowing through the water stream. Um, so you don't want to run this all the time, just as needed. Uh, sometimes when you get new fish or if you get an algae bloom or anything like that you kind of want to you want to run it for a little bit to kill kill off anything that you want out of the water stream it will not kill algae on the rocks or anything like that only the stuff that's actually flowing through the water so what i did i've marked the end here in here for the length so i'm going to go ahead and cut this so that the new adapters are at the top and that this fits back in the chamber on the back of the bio cube. So what we're going to do here is put this the bio cube adapter on here. It fits pretty tightly on there. Okay, get it nice and snug. Then we're going to lay this down here and cut it right about there so it's the exact same length as it was. So I'm gonna lay this right here, mark my spot. I just got some sprinkler PVC cutters here. Okay, so that should be the same size there. I'll push this in like so. Double check the alignment, make sure it's the right size, and actually stick it back in. Before that, I do, I want to show you how this thing comes apart. What there is, is if you unscrew this, there's a light in there. That's your UV light. So if you want to change the light, you just unscrew the cap and swap out the bulb and put it back in. That's loose, but that'll be fine once it's in. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. I've got the sterilizer here. i got the cord. The cord actually comes, it has a little screw midway so you can slide the cord, route the cord through here. The opening here is getting pretty crowded with the chiller, the automatic top off, with the automatic top off wires. We got the plug for the pump and now the plug for the sterilizer. So we're going to go ahead and drop this down in there and align this tube up back with the outflow. Let me show you this real quick. This is the where the cable comes apart for the sterilizer. So let's plug these back in together and screw them together. And this cap here just screws on to hold the joint together. It allows you to get easier access through all the little holes you're snaking in and out of. So for now, this will rest back there with the other jumbled of spaghetti. So I got the sterilizer plugged in here. I had to move the wave maker over here because this automatic top off 
transformer was in the way. So this gives a little bit more room between the two plugs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pump back on. And then I'm going to test the sterilizer. So when it's on, the light will be on, but this is not something you keep on all the time. And you can see the lights on the sterilizer. So like I said, what that do is just kill stuff in the water stream that you don't want. But you also don't want it to kill all the uh, good bacteria. So the sterilizer is on. It's installed. Everything else seems to be working. The water's a little mucky right now, probably from me stirring everything up back there. But again, if you have any questions, go ahead and post it. I'll see if I can answer it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.